what's up guys welcome back to my channel no white the one that everybody's talking about You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is not going to be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. I actually thought they cancelled this movie because of um, what was her name? The young lady who's supposed to be in it. She was in the new um, Hunger Games movie. And basically, she irritated everyone. I didn't even react to all the stuff that was going on around her because I felt it was just really, really toxic. So I just I stayed out of that one. But from everything that has happened since then, I thought they cancelled this movie. I didn't even think that they were still making it. But they dropped the trailer not too long ago. I think it was, like, what, two days ago or so? We're going to check it out. I think there were controversy on how she spoke about Snow White. Like, she didn't speak of it in a good way. And people were questioning whether or not she was actually a fan of Snow White. People were basically saying, give it to somebody who actually likes it, <laughs> which I agree with. You know, if you don't like it, why are you trying to act on it? Or why are you trying to use it or change it to fit your, you know, narrative when millions of people like the story the way it was? But that's just by the by. So I'm really curious to see what they've done with this movie. I think they were doing like other stuff, like trying to change how the, the seven dwarves look, change what they call them. They're trying to change like the love story between Snow White and the prince. She said in one of the interviews that the prince is not going to be in it. Like, oh. I know that you've told me before that your version of Snow White is different and it's more of a 2022 version of Snow White. What did you mean by that? I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie. Right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's... One of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. But it's... I think her problem, maybe she really doesn't like Snow White and she's actually been truthful. Um, but I think her problem is she shouldn't be doing any of these interviews because she's just saying stuff and every time she says stuff, everybody gets upset. But I do, I like her. I think she's okay. She, she gives me Zendaya vibes. I didn't know her before the controversy, so I haven't watched any of her other movies. But when she came out, you could tell she's young. You can tell she's not really had training in speaking to the media, I think, personally. And she just reminds me of Zendaya as Zendaya was making her rise up during the Spider-Man time. Anyway, guys, let's check out what they've done to this trailer. I mean, what they've done to this movie. And then I'll give you my thoughts after. Before I get on to that, guys, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I want to become a YouTube partner, so your sub is very important to me. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, Let's get into it. Let's go. Okay, I like that. I like that color. I like that. That looks nice. The cottage. Oh, yeah, when she's singing to the animals. There they are. Seven door. Oh, this is a teaser. Oh, Gal Gadot, she looks good as Maleficent. She looks good as Maleficent. Oh, no. One of all. Technically, Gal Gadot is the fairest of them all. <laughs> I don't get that scene. Was that supposed to happen? Okay, yeah. It's a teaser. It's a teaser. Sure. Sure. Okay. It looks okay. 
it looks okay. I think teasers don't really give you much. So yeah, uh, there's not much to go on, but I like, I do like the color. Yeah, it, it looks okay. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I don't think a lot of people are looking forward to the movie coming out, but then it begs the question whether or not people are going to watch it. I know all the reviewers and people who are doing reactions and stuff are going to watch it, but would the general public watch it? That's what I'm wondering about. But like I said, I think she's okay. The actor, I think she's okay. Gal Gadot is great you know in whatever role she plays i think she's amazing so yeah she looks good as, as, as maleficent i'm just wondering whether or not they're just by the time we saw the controversies around her and the interview the movie's already made which is why they're releasing it anyway now, that's what i'm wondering because remember all these stuff happened during covid and the writer's strike and all that stuff so it could be that the movie was made already and they just want to cut their losses and, and and release it and see what happens guys let me know what you think in the comments below what do you think of the actress i think her name is uh, rachel rachel ziegler or ziegler what do you think of her you know did you see all the stuff she was saying during the interview do you agree with her do you think she's just a child and just a young actress and she just doesn't know how to handle the media or do you think you know she hates snow White. she hates our disney movie so she shouldn't be given the opportunity to play them give it to somebody who loves it whatever your thoughts are let me know in the comments below before i go guys please check out my relationship channel i'll put it on the screen right now i'd give relationship advice to our young people who are trying to do life right now trying to understand the the climate around dating especially given the battle between red pill and feminism modern feminism to be specific try to advise them on how to go about things and avoid all these unnecessary arguments and complications that people put on the dating scene give some of my videos over there a watch and if you enjoyed this reaction to snow white please give me a like comment and hit that subscribe button guys i'll see you on my next video